Hello! Whoa, I almost fell out of the frame. <laughs> Woo! Hello there, theaterholics! I'm so excited because we're gonna talk about movies! You know I love movies. I love them so much I can't stop talking about them. And it's Pride Month, so of course, I'm gonna be talking about a few films that, you know, uh, you should watch because they're awesome. If you don't know who I am, <laughs> my name is Theater Guy. La la la. So last year I made a list of the top 10 films I thought you should watch for Pride Month. And today I'm gonna narrow it down to five films because these five films are pretty awesome. And with these films, I think they will definitely broaden your understanding and, and really care about the LGBTQ plus community out there. So check out these titles I'm gonna list to you right now. Number one is the film Camp. Father, sister, I hear your if you've ever felt different, how would you address your prom, dude? I don't get that. Of course you don't get that. Directed by Todd Graff, this comedy drama is about a performing arts summer camp for the youth and all the drama that goes with it. There are love triangles, great musical numbers, and a young Anna Kendrick that you might recognize from the Pitch Perfect movies, and also Robin de Jesus that you might recognize from Tick Tick Boom. Also check out this great soundtrack. Parental notes, there is some language, some sexual dialogue, sensuality, and a fight scene. My next choice is the documentary called Pray Away from 2021. We were the leaders of the ex-gay movement. We believed that something must have happened to make you gay. Directed by Christine Stalakis, this is a documentary that talks about the effects of conversion therapy and how it affected the lives of the LGBTQ plus community. You hear lots of moving stories and learn so much about how much damage it has done to those that try to change who they are. Parental note, this does have some self-inflicting dialogue. This title is available right now on Netflix. The next title on my list is the most touching and heartwarming, The Little Princess. <laughs> I'm coming, Miss Teresa. This was written and directed by my friend, Moxie Pang, for Disney's Launchpad series. Moxie wrote this short that dives into the relationship of Gabriel and Rob. They both meet on the school bus and a friendship begins when they find out that they're both Chinese. Rob finds out Gabriel loves ballet and the color pink. Robin's dad begins to realize that there's something different about Gabriel. Moxie has done such a lovely short that really moved me to tears and also brought me joy. The casting with these two boys was perfection. I felt the truth to it and there were moments of gold. This is a really great film to share with your kids. And parents, you don't have to worry about anything because there's nothing in this. So honestly, take the time to give this little short a viewing. Next up is Jake Graff's moving and touching short film, Listen. His name's Leon. This is all your fault. Let him express himself, you said. Well, look at him now. I barely even recognize my own son. This is a short film that explores what it's like to be a young trans person. It features real trans actors taking all the roles. I was moved by this short, and there was something about the way these characters were telling their stories that really hit me in the heart. It's stories that many of us don't really understand because we don't have to deal with the law of this ourselves. This short is available on YouTube. Definitely give a look on this one. So my number five pick is the incredible Everybody's Talking About Jamie. Stop waiting for permission to be you. I've got the dreams, I've got the style, I've got the moves to make smile, so kiss my life goodbye, cause I'm gonna be the one. This is about Jamie New, a young lad played brilliantly by Max Hardwood, who tries to navigate school life, but secretly wants to become a drag queen. With the help of his friends, mother, and a past drag queen, Jamie takes the leap to follow his dream. The numbers are astounding and the message is so brilliant. I love this movie so much. It was at the West End, I saw it, I even made a review about the show, and now it's a movie and honestly, it blew me away. It was everything I hoped for and even more. Parental advisory, there is language, crude sexual remarks, bullying, and someone does get punched. This title is available only on Amazon Prime. And there you have it, theaterholics, my top five films to watch during this Pride Month. Please let me know if you've already seen them or what you want, <laughs> what you would like for uh, the next Pride movies to watch for next year. 
maybe I'll consider it. Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe, break your faces, and don't forget to uh, clean after yourselves. <laughs>